me how to be closer to ya Tell me how and I'll do it, babe Cause I just wanna make you feel what we do about ya So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I am doing my dish, my last dish, which upsets me a little bit because I've really enjoyed myself doing this Fall Food Friday that um, Fallon Moss of Moss um, TV is has been hosting. I've just had so much fun, and I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about me. If you don't, if you haven't watched my channel before. I'm old. <laughs> I don't want to say how old I am, but I will. I'm 64. I have four children, three girls and a boy, ranging in age from 44 down to 26. Um, I have six grandchildren, ranging in age from 10 down to two months. And I cook a lot of southern foods. That's what... I grew up on um, cornbread, pinto beans, fried apples, um, mashed potatoes, real mashed potatoes, not the fake kind, which I do have some of those, and I probably will be using those um, this coming up winter, but anyway, my last dish for this Fall Food Friday is um, a Chinese dish, and I'm just putting a bunch of stuff together. It's kind of, it's going to be like an egg roll in a bowl, but I'm putting a bunch more stuff in here. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this is once it gets cooler, I just feel more like cooking. I want to cook a lot then. And so that's what I'm doing today. It's in the 40s at night now here. I'm in Virginia, Southwest Virginia. And it's been in the 40s here at night. And today I think it's supposed to be 71. I think this is the cool, the warmest day that we've had in the past week. And most of our days have been in the 60s. So as it's gotten cooler, I've been wanting to cook more. So I've got about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds of ground beef in here that I'm cooking. I have put in one small little onion and one red bell pepper. I'm cooking this on my new wave. I have a new wave. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. I'm disabled. I'm in a wheelchair. So you'll see me cooking at my dining room table. I can't. It's when you're in a wheelchair, it's hard to see in your stove. So, I mean, you know, the pots on your stove. I'm sorry. You, you know, you, I can use my oven because I can see to put the stuff in there. But on the stove, you just can't see in your pots when you're in a wheelchair. So putting all of my gadgets, and I have a ton of gadgets, putting all my gadgets on the kitchen table is how I cook. And I've got uh, my new wave. I've got a Ninja Foodie. I've got a Ninja Grill. I've got an air fryer. I've got all kinds of gadgets. And so... What I'm doing, like I said, today is this Chinese dish, but it, this would be normally a, a egg roll in a bowl, but I'm putting a lot more stuff in it than most people would put in an egg roll in a bowl. So I'm cooking this ground beef right now. It's ground chuck, really, and I'm going to drain it once it gets um, done. But And then I'm going to bring y'all back in just in a little while. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm putting into the um, cabbage with this. So I'm going to bring y'all back and we're going to get all this done. And I want to thank Fallon for hosting this Fall Food Friday. It's, like I said, it's just been amazing. I've had a really good time doing this. I wish we had someone that would do this, that would host this every week because I sure would do it. But anyway, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so the hamburger is done now. And I'm going to go on, and the next thing that I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put a bag of tri-color coleslaw. Just one bag I'm putting in here. All right. All right. 
and then I'm going to put, I don't know, not very many broccoli because I'm not steaming this. I'm just putting it in here with this. So I had a bag of broccoli spears, spears, whatever, and I'm just putting those in here to cook with the cabbage. All right, and the next things that, these are cans of stuff, and then I'm going to bring y'all back and we're going to make the sauce to go in this. All right, the next thing that I have, let me stir this up a little bit. Because this is going to have to cook because I like my cabbage really soft. I don't like it hard or whatever, and I definitely don't want the broccoli hard. I'm going to put the lid on this and let it cook some. All right, so I have a can of sliced bamboo shoots. They're going to go in here. I've got a can of water chestnuts. They're going to go in here. See, I told y'all, this is not your normal, everyday um, egg roll in a bowl. I'm putting different stuff in mine. I've got a lot of Chinese stuff that I've got to use up that's in my pantry. And so this is the bean sprouts. I've got one can of those. And this is all going to go in here. And I'm going to put the lid on it and let this cook down. I probably should go on and put some salt on here. And I'm just using pink Himalayan salt. And I'm not measuring it, I'm just putting, you put whatever salt you want on it to taste. Because this pink Himalayan salt, I don't think is, I don't think it salts your food as good as regular, like Morton Iodized salt or um, kosher salt. But I'm going to go on and use it because I've got plenty of that that I've got to use up to. All right, now I've got my new wave on medium so if you were cooking this on your stove that's what you would have in it and i'm going to get um her Brittany, to help me oh by the way I, in case you have, didn't know i have a nurse she's here with me every day and she helps me do all the things in my house that i can't do and i don't know what i would do if i um didn't have her to help me she helps me and she also Cook, um, cooks. She also eats the food I cook too, just to see if it's good, and she'll let y'all know the um, honest truth on it. So I'm gonna get her to give me about a half a cup of water, just so this will steam some, and then I'm gonna put the lid on there, and I will bring y'all back because we're gonna make all of the um, the sauce to go in here. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. Um, all right, I'm back. So we're gonna start putting this stuff in here. I've got the one teaspoon measure and the one tablespoon measure. Um, you're gonna need those. All right, now I'm, the first thing I'm going to put in this bowl, this is the, gonna be the bowl for the sauce, is I am putting three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. So I'm just packing this brown sugar in this, in the, one tablespoon measure measuring spoon all right so i've got three tablespoons of that all right the next thing that i'm going to put in here is i'm going to put uh let's see two tablespoons of this is just um regular olive oil it's not the um What's the other one? Okay, this is just pure olive oil. It's not extra virgin olive oil. It's just the regular olive oil. I'm putting two tablespoons of that in here. All right. All right, the next thing that I'm going to put in here is sesame, sesame seed oil. All right, I'm going to put probably, I really don't like this stuff very much, but I'm going to put maybe three-fourths 
teaspoon, I mean tablespoon of that. And you, if you like this, you can put more in there if you want it. All right, and the next thing I'm going to put is I'm going to put rice vinegar, and this is roasted garlic. And y'all know that I don't like garlic, but I do think that in Chinese food, you kind of pretty much got to have a little bit in here. So, in my, hold on, my, you, <laughs> my new wave stops after an hour, so it had been an hour. All right, now I'm going to put two tablespoons of this rice wine vinegar rice vinegar all right now I've got premium dark soy sauce this I get at Amazon and I'm going to put two two tablespoons of that in here and you if you don't want to use all of this stuff you don't have to I just am because it, like I said I've got to get rid of some of this stuff I've just had it and it's getting ready to which really this stuff doesn't lose its expiration date for years <laughs> alright is this not open let me see Yeah, it is. All right, so I'm gonna put. Well, oh, shoot. A tablespoon of poison sauce, and I'm going to put in sweet chili. This is Kroger Thai inspiration sweet chili sauce. I'm going to put two tablespoons of this in here. All right, now we're going to get down to the one to the teaspoons. I've got the pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to put, let's see, a teaspoon of that in here. And then I've got ground ginger. I'm going to put, I'm going to go on and do two teaspoons, about a teaspoon and a half of ground ginger. And I think that's all that I have. Now let's stir this up. I've got this stirred up now. Well, I don't know. I'm going to keep on stirring it up. Make sure that brown sugar is stirred up good. All right. Now I'm going to check on this. And when the cabbage is done, we're going to put this in. And I will bring you back. Okay, y'all. All right. So the cabbage is cooked down some. I'm still going to put this sauce in here. Here's the sauce. I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to turn it down to low. And I'm going to let this cook probably for 15 or 20 min more minutes. And I will bring y'all back when we've got our plates fixed. And we're going to eat some egg roll in a bowl. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, uh, I decided that I'm going to fix some rice. So I'm going to do this in my Ninja Foodie. I'm putting in one and a half cups of water. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And then I have to dry out my measuring cup. And then I'm going to get one cup of rice. If I can get it out of my baggie. All right. 
All right, there's my rice. It's going in here. I'm going to put the lid on it. Oh, I need to put some salt. Shoot, hold on. I never cook rice without putting salt in it. It just is kind of like the pasta thing. So I put just a good pinch of, of salt in there. And I'm going to put the lid on here. Seal it. Put it on. Make sure that it's on sealing, not venting. I'm going to... Let's see if I can get y'all down any. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go to pressure. And then it automatically defaults to 10 minutes. I think it's 8 minutes that I need to... This is just regular white rice. So I'm going to hit start. And then as soon as it's um, done, I'm going to let it come down for pressure for 5 minutes. And then we're going to have some egg roll. In, not in a bowl. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. All right, so here is the dish. I've got the rice on the bottom. Then I've got the the Chinese stuff on there. And then I've got green onions and sesame seeds. And we're going to eat this. Brittany's already started eating hers. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Um, I was waiting to get on with y'all. I went on and fixed her plate. So here it is. I can't help it. That's too good. Mm. Brittany said this is the best thing that she's eaten that I've cooked yet. <laughs> and this didn't even have a recipe. This is my, this is me. This is what I wanted. I wanted some Chinese food. And I really wanted to fix it myself. So, mm. the recipe will link, be linked below. It don't have everything in it. Like I said, you don't have to put... Um, everything in it if you don't want to but I had this stuff in my pantry and I needed to use it and this is definitely a file food Friday dinner it's um, definitely it's definitely good y'all it really is and like I told you the reason that I'm cooking now is because it is fall and it is getting cooler and I can cook more stuff now so you don't really have to have a lot of people fix pumpkin or apples or stuff like that which I have done that and I am going to do that I just didn't want to do it so much for uh, fall food Friday because you know a lot of people are doing something like that and I'm not one to usually cook um, sweets I, I do but I don't I mean maybe one or two times a year, I, I will, but I'm, I've am i got to this year because I've got a lot of stuff. I've been, these past three years have been really um, stressful on me, and that's over now. That was over on June, and I don't have to worry about it anymore, and so now I've got time to cook and do the things that I want to do and y'all are going to be seeing me so make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already and also um, give this video a thumbs up and look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram and also there's going to be links below of things that you can purchase and some of them like I have a the um my what is it uh let me think here I didn't even show y'all and I should have the kitchen mama is a can opener I've got a 10% code um discount code for that listed below and those there's just some really cool things so I hope y'all like this video, and I hope you have a good weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.